All right, all right. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the Sunderland Football Manager 2021 Road to Glory series. We're getting closer and closer to the end of the season. These last two episodes are going to be big. And we're going to start on this message here because, yeah, I haven't clicked. It's unread. The board set initial budgets. Thus, yeah, we can react to it here. Uh, see how much we'll get for next season. We'll see how all that goes. But, uh, yeah, this message here, not as relevant. It was obvious, yeah, we are going <laughs> to qualify for Champions League. It's good to secure that though. Board set. Oh, uh, yeah, I want to leave a prediction. Oh, I want to go like 90 million. I want to go 90 million, but like we got a new board as well. We had like that takeover. So who really knows? What is it going to be? Not, but 86. Like, I'm surprised how close I got to that, to be honest. 86 million. Yeah, you're not going to complain with a figure like that. But yeah, we. I feel though we should have more. I guess, I think I got lucky. I can put more into that. We can get to 96, and that's still going to be really healthy. Okay, that took 200. I'm just doing the calculations, okay? But anyway, that's, yeah, that's a pretty impressive budget. Like, I could adjust that to around 100 uh, million, and we'd probably have, a, well, definitely at least 200K in the wage, and, yeah, that would balance, right? It all depends uh, the type of signings you'd make. But, uh, yeah, almost 100 million to spend for next season. Though, yes, we'll we'll finish off, uh, for this episode and see where we are in terms of the league it's going to go right down to the wire really like we've got to rely on united to drop points at least draw we got to win both united have got to at least draw a game and arsenal do as well uh, just because yeah uh, man united's goal difference is amazing and arsenal just have one more point than us so yeah it's going down to the wire we'll take a look at both of their fixtures uh what arsenal have got oh they play against each other is that good and bad man i wish i could like watch their game but it's like on the final day so they'll be like same time at all right there we go. So the away against Wolves, not too bad. And then they're home against United. So what I'm hoping, maybe Wolves get a result against Arsenal. But we only need one result. So who knows? The issue is, the issue is, if both of their next games are wins, then that final day, I need it to be a draw. Oh my gosh. It's going to be really intriguing. So not a bad way to finish off this season. And then United, I was going to say, I, ha I feel like they would have had an easier one. So, yeah, so that's the way I'd love for it to go. And maybe more realistically, United's probably going to beat Newcastle. So I want Arsenal to... <laughs> I don't even know, man. The more I think about it, the more probably it won't go our way. We got to focus on winning our games and getting Johnny Brennan. Like you would think he gets two more goals for the season. And I really take, I really take Chelsea when it could have been Barca at the new camp. But guys, I feel reputation plays a part. It says Haaland is in, in the group of players uh, to win the best player in Europe at the end of the season. Like he's been good for me. He's been good, but Johnny Brennan's outstanding output of goals, like, how's that not being more recognized? You know what I mean? He's like top goal scorer, like 30 goals out of 34. Sure, he doesn't have more assists, but he's a goal scorer, man. I just feel reputation plays a part. So it looks like Man City went through some trouble there with Tottenham absolutely killing them. So yeah, there's still a battle to finish Champions League, but they're not in our focus. We got to get our heads in the game, opposition instructions at home. Brandon Williams suspended. So yeah, we're going to need to make a few changes here. And are we going to go with Brandon? It's a tricky one. So what we've done here, we've switched to the 4 triple 2 It's just the allure of Haaland and Brennan for this one. Home game against West Ham have had a pretty poor season in 17th. So really, yeah, we want to go out there, score goals. Thomas Evick has actually come in here. We, had, we didn't bring in Arslan. I just think he's been very good in training. Look at this. Like, he's starting to actually look close to top quality. Even though he's three-star rating, still listed as a wonder kid, 20 years old. Yeah, I'm excited. Excited what he can be. But yeah, Thomas comes in, left back, need to rest Martin. He's on a yellow. I feel the next game is an away one against Brentford. Just for the away reason, could be a little bit trickier. Danilovic needs to be rested. Or well, we said we'd rest him. And he could 
I just want to, yeah, he's injury susceptibility very high. So uh, Ferreira will prepare. Uh, he's just going down in his sharpness. So just play him in just with a few of those guys. Uh, under 23's game needed. Okay, and we'll put actually Bravo. I wanted to, Bravo to be out there because I think he's one of our best players now. And in this formation, yeah, he's not a center mid. Like He's not one attacking midfielder that could play center mid. So, yeah, we're just rolling with that. And, yeah, Gutierrez, you know, if Bravo's not doing well, then come, from, come on for him and be a bit quick. Plozek will start. So, yeah, this will be a team. So hopefully go out there, dominate today. That's going to be, yeah, that's going to be the plan. Expect to see much better performance. Uh, see, yeah, I'm not going to say that because technically we lost the last game, but it was part of us advancing against Real Madrid. So just so the pundits, that's kind of a safe one go to. We'll go just attackers, have faith in you, cover Brennan there. Every player motivated. You would always take that as a team talk reaction. Even West Ham's formation, I don't know, both like a 4-2-3-1, it could be defensive and attacking. It all depends on the instructions. So, yeah, we can't predict. We can't get much more. Ferguson, a goal here would be neat. A goal here would be very nice. And Brennan wastes it. <sighs> hey, he's... Wants to get the 50 goals, though. United, I just can't see Newcastle getting points, especially in a losing position now. Home against United, yeah. They they generally get the wins there. Now they've got two, yeah. That, that's what you're expecting from that game. You hope, though, for a miracle. We've got to... That's what I mean. We've got to focus on us at the same time. Closet goal has to. Too much space. I saw that coming, man. You had to. Lopez could not like waste that opportunity. He takes them. For someone experienced as well, but you just saw how that was opening. That just looked like it was going to be a goal and not a wasted one. It's just like, <laughs> I played FM for too long, man. You, you just felt that was going to be a goal. You couldn't see that missing. It's funny how that works. And we'll take the lead. We'll take the lead into half time. They got... Yeah, I've got a couple of players or a couple of defenders on yellow cards. That's going to help us. I'm going to point the finger, guard against complacency at this point. Yeah, there was a time in FM like where that your players will get negative reactions. These days, in, in my experience anyway, in my saves, at least in this save, I haven't seen many of yeah negative reactions to that. But anyway, bravo. Bravo, that's exactly what we're saying. And that's why we want him out there. Like, he's an absolute star. In this formation, can't play him with Gutierrez. But in the 4-2-3-1, they both could be on the pitch. And for the future, that will be scary. But yeah, he's a beautiful free kick taker. Excellent stuff. And looks like we... Okay, I was just wanting to praise him. We'll see what happens. We will see what will happen from this highlight, though, guys. Matthews, don't let him... Yeah, Thomas, he's doing his thing. Just defend where he can. And Haaland, Brennan's not going to get to that. But the highlight's still alive. Let's see. Let's see what's going to come to this. Thomas. Yeah, come on. Good pass to Haaland. See what I mean? <laughs> you probably should have got that. You're like, wait, what do you mean? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. Johnny Brennan, for me, he's been as good as Haaland, if not better. Like, he should be, yeah, for, like, the best player in Europe. Definitely up there. Thomas Evick. Thomas. That was wasted. Was it? I'd say a good enough chance. Yeah, the Haaland chance before was good enough. Now we can praise... Ooh, after this one, after this one here, we'll make a change. And Ward Prowse gave him a taste of his own medicine. Bravo, didn't he? Was that good enough for a highlight? I don't think so. I think there's still going to be a hope for us. <laughs> it sounds like we're losing and we're trying to come back. There's still a hope, but no. And that's Duran. Okay, goes long. Walker Peters, he's on that yellow. Get him under. Do we? Hmm. I was thinking, do we try and exploit him? Because, yeah, he's on a card. He's on a yellow. Now, Haaland. 
Here we go, JB. Oh, from here. No. That will, yeah, that's it. I swear, sometimes I know it, no FM too well. There's a chance this might be where we go careful. If we concede, especially. No, see, that was a warning sign. Bravo, he's done it. Okay, I'll change to, yeah, the 4 2 3 1 first. I don't know about you guys. I like going to this screen when I uh, change my players and all that. Uh, Bruno G, I think yeah, Maldonado can come on now, and especially uh, getting rid of a yellow card. It won't make him too tight for the next one. Uh, Bravo. Bravo, Gutierrez. Yeah, happy with Gutierrez to come on here. And I want to leave Brennan out there. We want to get him to 50 goals. Can't lie. Rest Haaland. I'm not going to make all subs, though. We'll make two. And let's just lower the tempo. We'll keep all the other, you know, our settings. And we'll be more disciplined. Those are the single changes we'll do. And Wait. Har no, I need to make a sub. <laughs> you're like, mate, you're going to leave him out there then. No, yeah, Harlan comes off. And Gomez for the same reason. Hmm, that's me considering... Consider I'm going to put Lopez as Mezala and then use Gomez as advanced playmaker support. Just trying to fit all this in. Yep. We'll be happy with those changes. I'd like to see them being wise and good changes. Hopefully no sending off or injuries from this point. Yeah, uh, we've done well. Oh, Ward-Prowse, as soon as I say it. Sometimes tactic changes can hurt because it refreshes the algorithm or the calculate. It refreshes something. I'm pretty sure I read on Twitter when Miles Jacobson, a couple years ago, he replied to someone. I'm pretty sure it was him. If it wasn't, I'm pretty. it, it was someone. I think it was because I'm in my mind. Oh, yeah, it was a sports interactive like, official and pretty sure it could have been Miles Jacobson, that when you change your tactics, it refreshes the result of what was going to play out compared to where if you just left your tactics and didn't touch it. That, I'm just remembering something I read. All right. It had to be nervy, didn't it? Gutierrez, finish him. Yes, there we go. So it might have meant we conceded a goal, but we got one back ourselves. And it may not have, yeah, probably wouldn't have played out that exact way if we stayed the same yeah, tactic before. Or maybe it could have because it was pretty attacking. Who knows, man? <laughs> but look at the stats. Yeah, we're still creating more opportunities. Yeah, you see the shots going up. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Hoping the other team... I like to bring some... Some people like to have... It, it all depends. Maybe on the final day we do it, uh, where you see the results pop up. But sometimes I like anticipation. And then you see the results for the other teams. And yeah, we're going to have that a little bit, which is not the worst thing. Please the result. Yeah, mentality is good. But United... Well, I mean, we were seeing United scoreline anyway. Yeah, 3-0. So we were... It was popping up because it was a relevant... Yeah, game for us. So, yeah, we knew they were winning. So, mentally, we turned off. So, now we need a draw, which it's possible if not Arsenal beat them because Arsenal have the motivation to win as well. Of course, Arsenal's result, yeah, we hope that is. They don't win their next one. So, we just go through this. Under 18, celebrate a double as well. They get the cup. So yeah, I'm not surprised because we've got a lot of talent there. Like with Bradford, you know, Bradford and Parks and the rest. Uh, this guy's okay. Remember I signed him up. I just really liked his attributes, even though he didn't have the highest potential from Zimbabwe. And these are the guys we scouted from Swansea. Okay, Owen's potential is not that great, but Bowden is, yeah, he's a little bit better. He's got Premier League potential. You sign him for that, the, that price. It's funny how Jonathan Owen, they don't want to sell though. And his potential doesn't look as good. Even though his recommendation is low. I don't know. He's mentally really good for a 20 year old. I know. Keep <laughs> keep letting me know what you think. Yeah. Active relegation release clause is 3.3 mil. That's not a lot of money, but yeah, that kind of move is not on our like greatest concerns <laughs> as of right now. 
I don't know why I'm trying this because we just got it. Asking the board to increase the transfer budget. I'm trying to think next season's transfer budget, but we've already got next season's transfer budget. So is that the season? <laughs> I don't even know. Because we got a lot of money for the wage as well. There's no harm. Like, we're not going to get sacked for asking this. Like, yeah, they're not willing, but we can discuss with the board. See what they say. Yeah, we'll risk going backwards. Or rivals. I like when you involve rivals. We're due to revaluate the club's budget shortly. Okay. So that's going to happen anyway. So, yeah. Hey, but that makes me aware there's going to be... <laughs> we could get more. All right, guys. We're just keeping... It, we're like live score when we're not in a match. It'll be good if you can go in and watch it. Like, like But we're not here for that. We just... Yeah, hope. Hope Wolves, if they can magically win, a draw would be not too bad. But yeah, it was not to be. Arsenal, I don't even want to do the calculations here. But I think we just need a draw from Arsenal and United, right? United, United can't win it and Arsenal can't win it when they play together. So yeah, I just feel there's a very low chance we're going to win the league, unfortunately. It's a bit out of our control now. It's disappointing, man. What can you say? As I said, we'll be in control of the last two games. Win them. We'll do what we can. But if we go to the last season of... Yeah, of course, we had 88 points. It was a much better season by us. But United, 78 points, the next best. We've already beaten that. They're just... Last year, we didn't have a... How about the season before, though? Before that. 80, United, yeah, competed a bit more. So I think that season... Was a bit, I wouldn't say it was better. Yeah. But this season, we haven't been as good. We've dropped more points. So you could say it's on us. But other teams have been better than last season, at least. There's a glimmer of... There's a slightest hope. A draw. A draw would do it for us if we win. And something we were expecting this season when we knew we were going to play Yusef a lot, he's, yeah, we've got a message about it. So, yeah, he's got 16, a couple 16s now in his goalkeeping, which he didn't have before at the start of the season. He's definitely progressed. And he's had a pretty good season, I'd say, to where he was at the start. You'd wonder, is this a keeper good enough? Guys, Mario Kraft, German under-17 players of the year, and he's joining us. So that's not too bad, yeah? Good talent. High potential, we have to scout him again, might as well. Which is pretty, yeah, it's a pretty good thing to get. You see some players there, like you got Goretzka, Emre Chan, Mario Goetze back then as well. Yeah, like a lot of good players there that's had really good careers, and Timo Werner. We need simply the result we need and from Arsenal United, a draw, which you know, there's a chance of that. There's quite the chance of that because they're both good teams. How? Who? I can't remember a recent time where it's been between three like in a save i've played three teams can win it on the final day like for us that's set up really well for me playing it very nervy for you guys watching it and wanting me to win nervy as well and maybe a bit worried but in terms of if any of you guys are watching it just for interest sake and you don't really care if i do well or not you <laughs> just yeah yeah, for those types, most definitely. Let's just progress into it now. United, we're on the same points as, but their goal difference is higher. So them winning and us winning wouldn't be enough. Arsenal winning would, yeah, that would seal the title for them. They've got worse goal difference than us though. 35 for a team top, okay? 80 points. A draw. Would make United 80, Arsenal 81. We win, we get 82 and we win. So yeah, the draw the draw is what we're after for them. The opposition instructions and as much, we've got to focus on this game here. It's away from home. We're not going, nah. We were good in this in the last game, but there's definitely issues in this formation. But yeah, we're going to start with 4-2-3-1. Brennan or Haaland is, we got to start, Brennan, there's got to be the story there for him to get his 50 goals. He'll need two goals today, actually. 
But don't know. Well, yeah, that's not in the Premier League season. So he could still with Champions League final upcoming. Sergio Gomez to come on. Oh, this is a big decision. Sergio Gomez. I feel like I want Bravo. Gutierrez might be good off the bench. We'll leave that and play Bravo over on that side. Even 4-2-3-1. Why am I treating this like it's a, like a really defensive formation in comparison? It's not really. It's still quite attacking. So Ferguson off now. We're bringing on better players for this one as well. Danilovic for Thomas Evic. He, you know, he was all right in the last game. I mean, we got a good result. How did he perform? Uh, rating, yeah, 7.3. 7 you would take that. Thomas off. Martin, doesn't matter if he gets a yellow card. I mean, he would be suspended for the... Well, let's just hope he doesn't get a yellow card today, but you never know. He'll be suspended for the start of next season. Would it? Or does it get cancelled? And I don't even know, because it's the start of a new year. Who knows at this point? But anyway, obviously, we just need to keep our heads in the game. Haaland, like, when you need to win a game and you see Haaland on the bench... Like that, in a way, you might say, oh, that looks weird. But in our best formation, what is your option? <laughs> when you've got a, your highest goal scorer for the season, you've got to have him out there. So having Haaland to come on is not... Yeah, that's not the worst thing for you. And then Bruno G, <laughs> yeah, to have that option. Maldonado comes on. This is our strongest team that's available pretty much. Pretty much is, I think, Flores on the bench. Maybe rather Ferguson. Yeah, that will be good. We don't have a left back on the bench, but hey, if Martin gets injured, we can switch Yeah, Williams over to that side. So no further waiting. Let's get right into it. Come on. We've got to. We've got to win this and then keep our tabs. What's happening elsewhere? Jonathan Woodgate. To be right to back us up. Okay, just stay, stay composed. Take everyone motivated again. Okay. And I think I touched on it last time. I was trying to find it where you... Yeah, you can add the the scores to where the pitch side is. But I don't think you can do that anymore. The results just pop up like automatically, which I don't mind for design. Like, they, yeah. But you wonder if they're always updating you, you know what I mean? It's good to look at it and see, okay, that's the current... That's the current score. But anyway. Oh, ter I would love an early goal. Lozek, lay this off. Bravo. Why do... Why do United... Well, you mean, like, I think there's a good chance there would be goals in that game. Now, Arsenal, it's your job. But why try and lo lob that close? I don't know why that. That's too close. To try and chip the keeper. I don't know. It's just me. Just that position. Go powerful. Low, powerful. Lozek. The good thing, it's a home game for Arsenal, so you think they should be trying to get a goal. Or stand, stand a chance. So I wouldn't mind that. The current position. Maldonado. And the current position for us, JB. He... We still need to be getting it done ourselves. Don't worry. Don't worry. But you can tell early. Okay. <laughs> like I was acting like that was a chance for us. It still could be. Yeah. But you can tell. You can tell we're really on top. That's a penalty. We're going to take a penalty. Look, yeah, it looked harsh. It looked like a harsh tackle on Johnny Brennan. I agree. And it deserves to be a penalty. That's what you mean. Totally. <laughs> How to look at JB. He's looking a bit ginger there. Hope he's all right. Hopefully he can step up and finish it. No words for that. Imagine if that goes on to cost us. Demand more. I think demand more was really effective last year, FM20. I think they toned it down a little bit. 
I mean, I just said it now. Imagine if we score. JB, don't have your confidence down either way. Ah, United's got two. How can you be just annoyed? Oh. How can I be this annoyed? We just scored a goal. That's rare. Come on, Arsenal, you're at home. Seriously. You're shit, Arsenal. You were in a position. Don't you want to? You're first. You're not anymore. You absolute hacks. Shit, Arsenal. Ridiculous. I'm almost now like, ah, oh, come on. They should be in a position where they're trying to get goals now, though, man. Two nils not that great position to be in. Where's Arsenal's home advantage? Come on. United's that good, eh? All right. We're, we're doing our part. Come on, FM. We're doing our part. Guess we don't really need to see the Brent. Even though we know what is going to happen within the terms of league table. Yeah, where we'd be. We'd be off just goal difference. Which is like... <laughs> Ugh. I don't like that. But that's how it works. We'll have to take that on the chin. We'll have to take a, like... Whatever you call it. A consolation, if you want to call it that. Being on the same... Having the same points as the title winners. Hmm. Freshen up. Closet come off. Bring on Sebelos. You know, just bring on some power. Gomez hasn't been that great. We'll put Bravo there, and then we'll bring on Gutierrez. Yeah, it's a bit of a somber feeling. Uh, where's Arsenal's notifications? Uh, it's not going to happen. Cheers, Arsenal. What are we going to do? JB, yeah, leave him out there. What do we do? Nathan Ferguson for Brandon Williams, who is a bit more defensive quality, I'd say. But as I said, it's a very, very somber feel. Oh, Arsenal got one back on the 66th. Like, I'm like, there's not much time left. I want to make a change like I would in the game. I need to ask. Like, I can't do anything, but I feel like I want to. I'm like, because there's not much time left. You know what I mean? It's the same feeling when there's not much time left. Like, I can't do anything. Where one goal for, of Arsenal off winning the league. And that's so tough. Come on, Arsenal. Like, can't do anything. It's such a weird feeling, guys. We're that close from winning three in a row. Oh, uh, gosh. It's so weird, that feeling. Come on, Arsenal. Some late magic. Please. And, I mean, that happens and we win the title. As long as we don't concede. Oh, my God. Don't tell me that's going to be the calculation. No, we might lose it. Shit. But my mental is like... It doesn't matter because Arsenal is not going to have that. Well, we'll see. Ah, I wish we could know. Well, yeah. <laughs> you, you do it just in case. You do it just in case, but we're not going to... I'm not going to spend... I'm not going to waste too much of your guys' time because realistically, it's not going to happen. We'll just go, yeah, a bit more attacking. As I said, we won't waste too much time on it because realistically... Yeah, Arsenal's not going to do their thing. So, yeah. It's a highlight. Come on. We still like to win on the final day. Come on. Come on. But, yeah, it wasn't destined for us this year. You could say you haven't even won here anyway. If Arsenal do get a late goal, it's going to be a bit of a sh not a good feeling. Well. Come on, guys. Uh, I'm like, yeah, what's, what's going on? What's happening here? 
We're not getting a good... Yeah, a bit of a somber feeling, but it would have been worse. Ben White demotivated, sure. How much does it matter now? Not a lot. It would have been worse. Yeah, that didn't didn't matter. If it mattered, if it mattered, yeah, that would have been tough. And we we take second. We get a point, and we take second. Yeah, it's some earlier games in the season that would have costed us. But I mean, if we won today, it wouldn't have mattered. So yeah, take second. I mean, that's not bad form for three seasons. Coming first, first, and then second. Sunderland, that's not too bad. Yeah, a bit of fury. Arsenal's 20. And how that played out, even regardless, even if we didn't win that final game, it's just how it all got calculated. But for Arsenal not to, like, get a draw in, like, late there, like, to continue an unbeaten run for 29 games... That's how it had to be. So there it is. But even if they did, we wouldn't... I didn't... We only, I only got a draw. So it wouldn't have been good enough. So you can't say that, but it's more on what happened in that other game anyway. So, yeah, it was interesting. Do I feel... I don't feel 80 points. I don't, I don't feel that was good enough to win the league, even though we went pretty close. I'm not going to argue with uh, United getting it. Admitting... Kind of admitting defeat in a way, but... Yeah, it's congratulating United at the end. They did deserve that. It's easy to say when we've won. Yeah, we had yeah two league wins in a low, uh, in a row. We had our success. So, yeah. Next has to be onto the Champions League. What we haven't won yet, and that would be a really nice way to finish things off. It would really have that feel of completing the story with Sunderland. So watch out for the next episode. I should be getting that out tomorrow, so keep your eyes peeled for what's going to happen in the Champions League final, Sunderland v Chelsea. I'll see you guys in the very next one.